This application demonstrates the concepts explained in quantum computing for developers. It leverages the Java-based Strange Quantum Simulator and Toolkit. This game built on the original Mary Had a Little Lambda game created by Stephen Chin, which explains the concepts of lambdas and streams to Java developers. We extended the game to Mary Had a Little Qubit, as it can be useful to explain the concept of quantum computing, qubits, and gates to Java developers. Mary visits the barn. When she does that, a white lamb with index 0 follows her. At the top of the screen, a quantum circuit is displayed with a single line representing this lamb, or single qubit. By pressing X, the user activates the poly X gate, which is hidden in the chicken coop. It starts to glow. The poly X gate sort of flips the qubit, and it's the quantum equivalent of the classical not gate. The moment the lamb passes over the activated poly X gate, the gate is applied to the lamb or qubit. The poly X gate flips the value of a qubit, and we represent this by flipping the color of the lamb from white to black. Meanwhile, you can see the gate is added to the quantum circuit on the top, as the X in a box is added. Mary goes to church with that lamb, where a measurement is performed. The status of the qubit was 1, so 1 is added to the sign. Once a measurement is performed, the lamb is gone. Mary goes back to the barn, and that results in a new lamb following her. The user presses H, and the Hadamard gate is activated, hidden in the nest. The lamb visits the Hadamard gate. The H gate is added at the top in the quantum circuit. A Hadamard gate brings a qubit in a superposition, in which it can hold the values of 0 and 1 together. Superpositions is one of the concepts that makes quantum computing very different from classical computing. In classical computing, a bit is either 0 or 1. In quantum computing, a qubit can hold a combination of 0 and 1 until it's measured. This is explained in chapter 4 of the book. We represent this by randomly setting the color of that lamb to white or black. Mary goes to church, where the lamb is measured. In this particular case, the measurement was 0, and nothing is added to the sign. Note, this could have been 1 bringing the sign value to 2, but in this case, the random measurement was 0. Mary goes to the barn, visits it twice, hence gets two lambs following her. The H gate is still active, and the first lamb passes it, leading to a H gate shown in the quantum circuit on top. The user presses H again, thereby deactivating the Hadamard gate. When the second lamb passes over the gate, nothing happened as the gate is deactivated. As a result, the first lamb is in a superposition. Its color randomly flips between black and white. The second lamb stays white. The user presses C and thereby activates the C0 gate, hidden at the rainbow. This gate operates on two qubits, so the two lambs have to pass via the rainbow. The C0 gate is now added to the qubit circuit on the top, next to the H gate on the first qubit. As a result of the created quantum circuit, the two qubits are now entangled. Entanglement is another fundamental concept in quantum computing. When two qubits are entangled, their values are related, even when the qubits are located at opposite parts of the universe. This is explained in Chapter 5 of the book their value can still be 0 or 1. But if the value of the first is 0, the value of the second is 0 as well. This is visualized by having both lambs the same color. At the top right side of the screen, we see that the probability of measuring 1 is 50% for both qubits. Mary goes back to the barn, and a third lamb follows her. She passes via the nest, or H gate, and before the third lamb enters the gate, the user activates the gate again by pressing H, and that H gate is added to the circuit. We now see Mary walking with three lambs, each with a random value, which is shown by the probabilities on the top right of the screen. All are at 50%. However, we see that the first two lambs are always showing the same random value. 
while the third one is not linked to the first ones. When Mary visits the church, all cubits are measured. In this case, all cubits were measured as zero, hence nothing is added to the sign. 